What is it? Mobile suit gang gangnam? <laughs> Mobile suit Gundam Battle Operation 2. I mean I think I'd prefer Gangnam. Open Gangnam Star. Hello and welcome to the Essential Gamer. I am your host Lee and this is what is it and for this episode we are focusing on a new free to play mech battle arena game. Where it's all very manga inspired and uh it's actually a bit different from what I expected. So you start off with possibly the longest player agreement I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, no shit, it took me nigh on four minutes to scroll it. That's, that's too long, right? That's definitely too long. But after you do eventually get through the policy, you will discover all of the usual trappings of this kind of game, so you create your character, you get some bits and bobs for your first mech, who is your battle Gundam machine, uh, and then you go into a tutorial which takes far too long, you speak to a girl that looks far too young, and uh, yeah, this is the main screen that you're actually going to be looking at when you're not fighting in your mech. So you, you talk to this guy who likes to repeat himself, this is your gift giver, uh, and there's all the usual stuff, there's mission base, there's a shop, there's training, there's this guy who literally the rewards man. Listen. Get used to reused audio assets at all times and um, some other questionable things. Although it is a mech battle arena game you'll spend 50% of your time at the base so you'll get used to all of these things at the shops and the sort of uh, the mission givers and the reward plays and the tutorial bits you'll upgrade your weapons you'll upgrade yourself your clothing everything and after you finally manage to get past all of the screens it likes to give you pop-up screens and more tutorials outside of the tutorial what the hell this is perfectly regular <laughs> anyway, so after you've got through all of the screens, you'll find the sortie counter, and the sortie counter is basically your way into quick matches. So it gives you the option of a daily setup, and there's normally a choice of two or three, and there'll be a like a regular ground fight, a space-based fight, which is more aerial and far more vertical than the ground ones, and sometimes you'll get bonus ones where there's an ace on each team and different variants. Now the fun starts when you get the big robots out and you start battering each other with them. Uh, this part of the game, which is obviously the main action, and this is where it all takes place, it actually looks alright. I mean, it, it performs well. It's it's not the most uh, quick responding game in the world. You'll you'll have to time your attacks and defenses and things like that. But once you get into it, it's actually quite enjoyable. It's uh, it plays like any other sort of MOBA. You have to take over spots on the map try and defeat the enemies, take them out of the equation, it does get quite tactical, um, not that you'll be doing a lot of talking. The difference between other mech games and this one that I've noticed is the fact that your pilot is an actual part of the game, he is a character, it's not all about the big robots, although you do really need a big robot to stand any chance of fighting anyone, you can still do things as a simple infantry human. Everything plays out in sort of typical battle style fashion. You start at each end of the map, and uh, as I say, you, you will cycle through weapons and you'll pick up upgrades to come back to matches that you struggled in or against levels that you were struggling at, and you'll find that you'll do quite well after you visited the shops and rewards. And then you'll start blowing shit up. The fights and the, uh, the melee and the gunplay is fine, I wouldn't say it was extremely tight, I won't say it's extremely responsive because it doesn't feel that way, but it is functional and it does work. You'll just have to take some time to get used to it. And after the matches have played out and finished and timed out and all that sort of stuff, you'll get your rewards, you'll get your XP. Uh, you are rewarded with uh, currency, in-game currency free currency I'll add so you can purchase things from the upgrade store but obviously there is a dreaded real money option. Of course the battles don't just take place in space, the main 
bulk of the battles will be fought on the ground and this is where the game I think it feels a little bit more like it was supposed to the battles are slightly more fast paced where you're connected to the ground I say it doesn't set the world on fire it's no overly spectacular map or overly spectacular graphical performance but it's very functional and it does look quite pleasant when you're in the battles and you get a good sense of scale at least It, it feels like uh, uh, like a, a manga or an anime mech based piece of media should feel. It's over the top, it's loud, it's stupid, there's too much Japanese being spoken at all times that I just don't understand even though I set the language to English. But there's some great cutscenes and there's some, some good sort of in-game bits that you'll notice as you go along that really does suit the job. But there you go, it's free to play, you're more than welcome to go get it if you want. What the fuck are you doing? Well that's enough for me anyway, I'm going to leave. So I've been Lee, this is The Essential Gamer, thanks for watching What Is It? And I'm just going to leave this guy here. Don't look at me.